Welcome back in with, to North Dakota today. We're cooking with Cashway. Randall, you left us on a little bit of a cliffhanger last time. We yes. made biscuits, but now we're going to yes. do more with the biscuits. We are going to make a biscuits and gravy. Love that. All right. But now we're going to be using chorizo. So break that up like you would hamburger. Also love that. Yeah. So we're using chorizo sausage instead of uh, uh, the regular breakfast sausage. That's awesome. And what we're going to do here is just get a little bit more of that, that uh, Hispanic flavors. Mm -hmm. Um, now, I'm using a uh, product that we carry here at Cashway. Um, it's a little leaner than the typical um, uh, chorizo, and it doesn't have quite the, the vinegar in it, so it makes a perfect sausage for what we're doing here. Gotcha. Now, don't let that stick on the bottom of your pan, because uh, these, these are good learning moments, because when you have your, uh, your sausage sticking on the pan, uh, and we introduce the flour to make it a roux. Okay. That is going to continue to stick in the pan. Gotcha. And then that can scorch. Okay. And then there's no coming back from that. Definitely don't want there's that. Just no way. Sorry. Okay. That can fix just about anything, <laughs> but scorch I can't. Can't fix right. scorched. Got it. Nope. Um, so you know we brown that, and you know, but you know, whether if you're using like a breakfast sausage or I mean, you know, could you use an Italian sausage? Of course. Any sausage you uh, want. And you can use chicken sausage or turkey sausage. I mean, there's really no. Uh, rule that you have to use a, a, a pork sausage. We just like spice around here, so we're going with right. chorizo. And then you could also use like a, a meat alternative. Now, the thing with the meat alternative is I'd probably build the gravy first and then introduce the, the meat alternative into it. Gotcha. And then I might, when I, on the gravy, we're going to use flour, but I might use a cornstarch there just because if you're, you know, with special diets, uh, you could definitely do that gluten free. And there's no, uh, no reason why you couldn't do that here as well. What you would do is simply just make a, a slurry with either cornstarch or potato starch. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, so break that up and leave it a little bit more. We want it, you know, pretty, pretty good. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, render that sausage because we want that fat. Mm -hmm. But you know, the, the, it's kind of going to go through this point where it's it's releasing water, and we don't want to introduce our flour in there too soon. Okay. Is there like kind of a special like, is there like a magic moment when you could tell that the flour is ready to get introduced in there? Like is there, a, or just like when? Well, I mean, if it's, you know, like when you were you ever like cooking hamburger at home mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you stir it in the pan and it, it maybe sizzles, you know, sizzles for a while, but then it starts to boil. Yeah. All right, so so that's kind of like what, we, we want that boil part to go away. Gotcha. Uh, we don't want to introduce our flour then because now you're going to have a, you're going to have like a, I don't know, <laughs> you know like Play-Doh or something. <laughs> to be fair, an edible Play-Doh <laughs> sounds pretty good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce our, our flour. Okay. And um, we want to do this a little bit at a time because we want our, our, our fat to absorb the flour. Gotcha. So go ahead and mix, mix that around. Right. So here, in the traditional sense, we're making a root. Okay. Right? R-O-U-X. And, and it's a, uh, a very old time thickener. Now, whether you use a slurry or, uh, you know, like I don't know if you ever watched your grandmother or your mother make gravy and she would take um, uh, flour and water mm -hmm. and mix it and then put it in. So, I mean, it, you know, whatever you're using for a thickener, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, look at how it's, if it's you can see yep. it in there, it's already kind of so starting to So, I'm going to add another to little that. bit of flour, just a little bit, okay. and then we work that in. And then I'm going to add in the milk. Okay. okay. Go ahead. All right, so you stir that around. Make sure you get that off the bottom because yes. that's where you're going to scorch. Yep. And then we'll uh, introduce our salts. And then uh, when we come back, this is going to need to cook for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. You want to cook that flour out of it. Uh, kind of that, some of that, you know, it's, sometimes you have something that tastes real flowery, you know, like, like you know. Right. And, and we just kind of want to cook that out and let all that sausage kind of soften up in that gravy and develop a really nice flavor profile. I'm sure if we ask, they'll give us 10, 15 minutes to just kind of sit here I, in front of us. You the, think? Yeah, probably. Okay. Let's do that. All right. No, I'm just kidding. We'll be right back. We're cooking with Cashway in North Dakota today.